Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to properly take care of your beard. What's up guys? Welcome back to Gen Slange. I'm George. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. Give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps us out. Today we are talking all about beard care. So beard oil, beard balm, beard conditioner, beard brushes. What does it all mean? How do you use it? and how does it help your beard. If you guys are looking for a video on how to trim your beard, I will link to one right up here, but today we are talking all about beard care. So there are a few things you need once you start growing your beard out to properly take care of it. One is a beard brush. So um, there are some differences in beard brushes. I do recommend spending maybe 15 to 20 bucks on them. You can get them for like six bucks, but the bristles are kind of hard and stiff, especially if you have a shorter beard, it might be a bit itchy and scratchy, where if you get like a nice boar bristle brush, it's gonna be softer, but also coarse enough to get the beard going in the right direction that you want. I have a few links below in the description for you guys to check out. And up next on the list, beard oil. So guys, even if you've never had a beard before, you're probably aware of beard oil. You might not know what it does, but you've heard of it before. And beard oil is basically like conditioner for your beard. So it keeps the skin soft, it keeps the beard hair soft, it kind of keeps it nourished and so it doesn't dry out so you have a nice good looking beard and when you apply beard oil you want to put just like a dime size amount of oil on your hand rub it together rub it into your beard and then take your beard brush and really brush it in so it really gets down to the skin and it coats all of the hairs so i really like this beard oil from baxter it has avocado oil vitamin e and it actually feels lighter than a lot of beard oils I've used before, but it is a little pricier. So I will link to a few different beard oils I like down below and this one as well. All right guys, up next is beard balm. So beard balm is going to be kind of a thicker, more managing and taming beard oil. So beard balm is gonna have the same oils as your beard oil, but it's also gonna add things like shea butter or beeswax to kind of give you a little bit of shape and a little bit of hold. Now all beard balms are not created equal. I really like this one from Rocky Mountain Barber Company because it does have a little bit of beeswax in it, but it doesn't make my hair feel like I'm putting like hair styling wax in my beard. It just kind of keeps everything going in the same direction, keeps the flyaways from poofing out on the sides. So to apply the beard balm, you wanna do the same thing as the beard oil. Just get a little bit in your hand. You don't need too much. Um, that's probably plenty and then really rub it in so it kind of warms up and dissolves like you would a pomade or a hair product and then just kind of really work it in there so it gets into all the crevices gets down to the skin and covers your beard completely and then once again like the beard oil take your beard brush and really brush it in there that'll get all the hairs going in the right direction and really start to shape your beard in the shape that you want it to be. And last but not least, some bonus products that you really don't need, but if you wanna take your beard game to the next level, I do recommend a beard wash and conditioner and a beard softener. So first up, a beard softener. Um, this one from Wall is really great. It does kind of moisturize your skin. It just looks like lotion. Um, and honestly, it's probably the same as an aftershave cream has a lot of the same ingredients in it, um, maybe a little more oil, like in your beard oil, but not necessary. A beard oil will do the same trick and um, a beard balm will also. I'm gonna be honest guys, I never really bought into the beard shampoo and beard conditioner marketing tactics. I thought it was just another way to sell you more stuff that you didn't need, but honestly, when my beard got a little longer and our shaving sent this stuff over, I tried it out, I was like, I'll test it, I'll see what happens and I legitimately noticed the difference in the first wash. Um, it is much different than the conditioner you use on your hair or the shampoo you use on your hair because it has more oils like your beard oil. So basically, you wanna put some oils in your beard to keep it soft, keep it conditioned, and this beard shampoo and conditioner, especially if you have like a longer beard, I wouldn't worry about something that's this length, but once you get into maybe two or three months growth, it's something to start thinking about. All right guys, and that pretty much wraps the video. I hope this was interesting for you. Remember, grab a beard brush, grab some beard oil, grab some beard balm, um, grab some beard softener or beard shampoo and conditioner if you want to. 
but I do highly recommend a beard brush and either beard oil or beard balm. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not hit the subscribe button yet, please do that right now. It really, really helps us out. If this video was helpful for you, share it with a friend, give this video a thumbs up, really, really helps us out. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram over at Jen's Lounge, give us a follow over there. See you on the next one, guys. Cheers.